session uh, by uh, Pradeep, who is my co-moderator. I thank all the speakers in this uh, session for uh, such an interesting uh, session. I was just uh, making quick notes of all this, and I realized that each and every presentation uh, was full of case studies. So it is uh, quite interesting. I hope it is the, uh, there's a lot of points to uh, recap. So uh, maybe I'll just take two, three minutes, quickly go through all the presentations. So the first one was uh, uh, by uh, Louis uh, from E.ON and the concept of local energy systems and LEC, local energy community was uh, mentioned in that. And the objective was to get 100% renewables and which was giving grid congestion and there's a solution, this LEC concept was mentioned. And in the second presentation by Nano E from Madagascar. So it's a nano grid concept and the energy access and sustainable development challenges were addressed by that. The evolution was presented, the concept that is lateral electrification model. So where a nano grid converts to microgrid and microgrid converts to mini grid and, and so on. So this is also, this is applicable in areas like Africa or, or uh, places where uh, not a lot of access is available. So this is uh, also generating rural electrification entrepreneurs. Okay. Uh, the third presentation we had from Mr. Patrick from Saft Energy Storage Systems. And uh, it's a good presentation I found uh, explaining the duty of battery in the system and what is the role of a battery in a large power plant and role at the transmission grid level and role uh, at the behind the meter level and uh, presented very good case studies in all these uh, levels and each and every case study uh, identifying the role of the battery and also uh, showing the return on investment on, on this so which 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 tells that the batteries are uh, uh, are useful to add to the renewable integration then we had fourth presentation by Bruben, and uh, uh, he has done a study of business models uh, that are available. And the general trend he has observed is digitalization, decentralization, and democratization, and various business models for uh, integration of uh, renewable energy were uh, explained. Then we have the fifth presentation by uh, Mr. Pankaj Batra from CEA, so where the regulatory challenges in India were uh, mentioned. and the concept of distributed variable energy sources, renewable energy sources, DVREs, uh, was, uh, was mentioned and how it is addressed and countered by flexible distributed storage devices. So it is just uh, in line with the previous uh, presentation about how storage and flexible demand can help in integration of renewable energy. Uh, also the Indian duck curve expected in 2022 was uh, shown, so we'll look forward to uh, look at it. Then we have the presentation by Gianni and uh, Professor Gianni. He mentioned about uh, how the policy and regulations impact the grid. So, uh, because from changing from feeding tariff to market driven kind of uh, solar markets, how it can uh, affect the growth of the renewable energy integration. That was uh, his point. So he had mentioned the examples of Spain and uh, Italy where uh, there was a sudden drop or uh, stoppage of you know, uh, growth in renewable energy, solar systems, because, not because of any technical issue, but because of the regulations and, and policies. So, so it is again an in interesting message uh, that is there in there. And finally, we have one presentation uh, by uh, Mr. Andrea Smolin. So actually, even I'm based in Hyderabad, so I would like to get connected with you later. So uh, he presented the concept of CIA Green uh, Business Center in Hyderabad. Again, it's a case study, uh, how a net zero building works, and uh, all these new concepts like uh, elevated panels, vertical panels, changing of the uh, solar uh, curve, how it can uh, help, and all this. Uh, new ideas were presented. So these were uh, some of the brief review of the all the presentations in this session. Uh, it was uh, uh, quite uh, uh, knowledgeable and uh, entertaining. Uh, that is, it's it's like information for me. So I hope even all you members also might have picked up some some of these new points. So again, uh, I would like to thank all the uh, panelists for uh, giving their uh, suggestions and uh, valuable uh, information. Thank you so much.